how often is it that you try to like get just to like a range session or just like a putting session yeah i try to now that i'm like playing more consistently i try to get to a range at least once a week at mm-hmm. least um if i can do more than that I'm, i love that um <clears throat> it's also just a great way to like break up you know, if I can't get to a course, that's a great way to break up like the work week and yeah, just to yeah. take out some frustration on some on a bucket of balls. Like it's great. Um, so I try to do it at least at least once a week. If I can, I try to go somewhere like in the morning on like a Saturday Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, if I can't play a full round, uh, but yeah, we do that. I definitely try to um, uh, putting wise. I try to go to like maybe a course and just like just go, I just show up, just go to the practice screen yeah, I don't yeah. Give a shit <laughs> i just go and just like this is where i'm gonna go putt so i'll do that i like i like winona's range just because like the afternoons like after work it's all shaded over with the tree right. cover there which yeah. is really nice um nice. and then i mean paul is there always has great food so those times that like i'll do the fish fry i'll order ahead and then i'll just go and i'll just like putt and ship for like an hour love a good fish fry and then pick up the fish fry and go pick up the fish fry and go <laughs> <laughs> i love it but I, I mean, I it's it's gotten to the point where I've putted on that putting green so many times, so and many I always times. I love doing that that Phil Mickelson little circle drill. Yeah, yeah, with the, like the you, tees. you take the tees and put them in you know, like club of length, and then each time you if you make it first one it goes back a foot, mm-hmm. and if you don't it stays in that spot, and then as you go around a couple times it's like oh I'm really missing the left the riders that mm-hmm. one's still in close. It kind of gives you that feedback. Um. And it's just a good drill to do to to keep you moving and rolling these different pots from different angles all in the same hole. And yeah, love it. Sometimes too, when I get to the range, I I started doing it a bit more this past year, just like having those the Arco sensors and knowing when I'm actually hitting on these holes. Mm-hmm. I I did it probably like four or five times where I'll go to the range, and after like I warm up with a few, I'll try to go through like I it's at the point. Where like I know the course, I know what club I'm gonna hit on each hole, and do oh, like almost sure. a simulated round where it's like, okay, I'm gonna hit driver, and then normally into one I'm hitting pitch or nine iron, mm-hmm. and then I go to two, and it's like, okay, usually I hit six or five iron off the tee, and then mm-hmm. it leaves me like a fifty two or pitching, right. and going that way, and like instead of like hitting like five in a row with a an iron, and then switching to a different club, like hitting one driver, one nine iron, mm-hmm. and then moving through like my bag with what I would hit. Oh yeah. Um. Because then it starts to change that range section. Because, you know, when you go from the range of the course, it's so different. Sure. Yeah, but having that, like, simulated practice round basically is good. Yeah. It's going to be funny this year, like, not that we always golf at Manoa, but, like, it's going to be funny to see where our games are really at when we start playing all these different courses and stuff. It's going to be yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. And to play with, like, different people and, like, do that kind of shit. I'm excited about this whole journey. But it's also going to be incredibly frustrating. It's going to be fun. It's going to be we're going to have bad weeks and really bad weeks. And good I weeks. remember. <laughs> I think it was the week before the member guests. It was when Alex and Anthony they booked. Uh, they want to go to Erie Village, which I sound like I don't like Erie Village, but like I told them, I was like, I got this big, like the member guests is I see is the biggest tournament of the year. Right. I was like, I'd rather just play with no one, like lock in. Yeah. But that was like, all right, we've been we we'd already we had done like our match play against them a couple of different times. Like yeah. us did it. I did one with me and Jay against the yep. two of them. Me and Justin Azo did one with them. <laughs> you know, like so it was like, all right, let's let's just let's fine, let's go somewhere else. And like, it wasn't really the course kicked the shit out of me. It was just like mentally, I was just like, I've played that course before. Right. I've shot decently well out there, but it was just like I just fell apart. And it was like, I think I just got too comfortable playing Winoa. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that like is... my previous like 20 right. rounds were probably at Winoa. <laughs> I know. Um, maybe like a Rogues in here or there, which like the, the second most played course I've played is like Rogues East and yeah. West. Like I know those courses really well too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be, it'll be fun just to get out and just be, especially like focusing on the content ideas, uh, the content side of stuff. Yeah. You know, just to see what we get and see how we do with it. So it's going to be, I'm excited. It's going to be funny. Yeah. I think it'll be cool to you going back to like Stone Creek, just like old Griffin's Greens. Cause Hell like, yeah. just knowing, it's like, I mean, I still remember some of those holes like as a kid, like they're, I don't know, they're in my head. And the, the same with Streamside out there in uh, Pulaski. Like I always played that growing up, just being out at camp stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, I've played it since. 
And it's like, I remember the last time I played it, it it's a weird because it's a 12 hole course. So it's like, I remember shooting like a 55. I can't remember what par is there because it's weird being yeah, 12, 12 holes. holes. But it was like by far the best I ever shot. I think it, normally when it's 12 holes, it's like, it kind of falls where like the average golfer, like when me and my dad would play it years ago, we'd like shoot like 72. And they're like, yeah. oh yeah, I've shot par, you know, like right. it's 12 holes. But I remember <laughs> shooting a 55 out there just because it was like, I knew the course and I finally had the like new equipment. I was swinging the club well, knew where to put it. And it was like, okay, this is fuck yeah. It's fun to get back to those courses <laughs> you played growing up and uh hell yeah. We should do we the do. the rogue roost invitational, just one round on each hole. Or one on run one, one round, round on each, on each yeah, yeah. course. That'd be That'd sick. be cool to get some people in it and uh yeah. yeah, do it like golf genius and uh see who shoots what on it. I know. I want to see. Oh, I just, I just, I envision this like just going on the road, and when I, then we're going on like a cross country tour, playing around in each state. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be funny. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it though. That's great. Yeah, one of our goals should be getting out to one of the the Turning Stone courses. Yeah. Oh my god. I yeah. know Ben here next door to me. He goes out there a couple times a year and plays. Wow. Um, but that'd be cool to to get out there and play one of those. Yeah. And just see where we're at, you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, those are PGA certified courses too. I mean, yeah, they like they have tournaments it's, there. It's not like we're playing the tips, you know. No. I mean, we'll I mean, maybe find the we right yardage. That, maybe and, we will at that point. And, Who knows? And see. Maybe I'm just gonna all of a sudden just be pumping my driver 320. We'll bring mm-hmm. Caleb with us. Caleb, Caleb, we need you to to tackle one of these courses. Yeah, we need you to show us the doors on that. Yeah, nice, nailed it. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.